Like, girl, who do you think you are? <laughs> yeah. You know, so this not my hair. I mean, you really don't need the review. Y'all see it, but I'm gonna give you one anyway. Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today we are back with the Amazon wig reviews. Cheap Amazon wig reviews. And we got a good one. We got a really good one today. I'm gonna just say this off the top. If y'all don't listen to any other Amazon wig review that I have ever done or that I ever do, let this be the one that you do. I'm not even gonna do too much talking. I really wanna get right into this because y'all need the details on this. So I'm gonna show y'all the unboxing really fast that I did. It wasn't too crazy, but today we're reviewing a Sensational Cloud9 Swiss Lace wig. This is the Letitia wig in 1B. And this is their HD lace, their What Lace Hairline Illusion Lace wig natural density they have other colors which i'm definitely gonna get i think i'm gonna get me a chocolate brown one but yeah it came inside this box with the hair net and stuffing and of course the little card with the information the details on the unit this is a really simple wig if you're one of those girls that not into customizing wigs or don't know how to customize their wigs or you're not that good at it this is one of those wigs that you can get away with not customizing it i did pluck mine as y'all will see i did do a little bit of plucking but that's just personal preference for me i just like to pluck all my wigs but you definitely don't have to pluck it at all because i did install this wig on my cousin glue list we didn't even glue it down for her maternity pictures and we didn't pluck it or anything we literally took it out the bag put it on her head it fluffed out the curls and put some concealer in the part and that's it so you can get away with not customizing it at all but it's just personal preference for me to pluck all my wigs so i did do a little bit of plucking it wasn't that much hair as y'all will see but i did pluck it just a little bit but yeah so now we're gonna get into plucking and install part of this video and then i'll give y'all my review at the end but i mean you really don't need the review y'all see it but i'm gonna give you one anyway so if y'all want to see the details on this and watch me install this then keep on watching Okay, y'all, I have unboxed the wig. I'm gonna show y'all the wig. I've plucked it, I've done my bob cap. Now we're gonna get ready to install her. I'm really excited about this, and this is my first time installing a wig since vlogmas y'all but this one it just looks so good and it's affordable it's on amazon i know everybody loves amazon the girls love amazon we love a good amazon find she just looks so good like the curls are just mm. the plucking that i did mm -hmm. so let's not wait any longer <laughs> Like, look how good she looks. Like, girl, who do you think you are? You really don't have to do anything to it. Like I said, I, well, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but when I installed this wig on my cousin for her maternity shoot, I might share the pictures, hopefully she don't mind, but I didn't pluck it at all for that. Like, we took it straight out of the box, cut the lace off, put it on her head, and just put some concealer in the part and fluffed out the curls. So, it's gonna look good either way, but I just like to pluck it just to give it a little more naturalness. So, first, I'm gonna put makeup on the lace because I haven't done that yet. And then we'll get started. Okay, makeup on. Now let's prep our skin for the install. I'm taking my good old trusty 
isopropyl alcohol. Y'all probably already know the drill. Just going across my forehead, get off any oils, makeup, anything like that that would keep my wig from sticking. All right, next I'm gonna take my Boho Skin Protect to protect our skin underneath the wig during the install. Let's put her on, hopefully she fits. Oh, she went right on, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't have the adjustable straps tightened at all. And honestly, I feel like I could wear this glue. It's like, it's so fitted to my head. Like, I don't think glue is necessary, but I'm gluing it down because I'm going to the fair tomorrow. And if I get on the ride, I don't need this flying off. Oh, look at that, parting space. Okay, I'm just about to put the cones in so I can glue it. Okay, so now I'm taking my wax stick and I'm just putting a little bit on the hairline so I can hot comb it, keep the flyaways out the way, and I hot comb back those baby hairs that came on the wig because I don't want to wear baby hairs, so I just pushed them back. But if you're into that, the wig, as y'all saw, does come with the baby hairs cut out for you. And if you're wondering, my hot comb is set on 15. If you have an Andy's hot comb, which I don't know what that is in degrees, but I'll look it up. I don't have it turned all the way up, of course, because this is synthetic hair. We don't want her to melt off. All right, so now I'm just taking an eyeliner pencil to like map out the hairline and like where I'm gonna place the glue at. So I'm just gonna mark right in front of the hairline a little bit. Some people don't do this. Some people just put their wig straight on and glue it. That don't work for me. All right, now I'm just gonna pull the lace back so we can apply the glue behind where we just put the dots. All right, so now I'm taking my bow hold active glue, my trusty dusty bow hold, and I'm just doing one layer of this. If you wanna wear your wig longer or have your install last longer, do more layers, I recommend three. But I'm only doing one layer because I don't know how long I plan on having it, but not long. So one layer will do it for me. All right, so I just spread the layer out flat and thin with a popsicle stick. So now we're just gonna wait for it to turn clear before we pull the lace back down. All right, I think we're good now. So let's pull the lace down and I'm just gonna take a rat tail comb to like press the lace into my skin. Now I'm taking my even spray 
in the black can, extreme firm hold, and spring across the whole hairline. And I'm gonna tie it down with the elastic band, of course. You're gonna need this for your melts. If you don't have one, you install your wigs, you're doing it all wrong. Let me put the hair up first. Make sure she's good and tight. So now I'm gonna take the blow dryer on warm and just go over it for about five or 10 minutes. All right, let's take this off so we can get some blood flowing to the head here. I don't know what the problem is people be having with tying their waist down like immediately after spraying instead of letting it dry first. I tie mine down while it's wet. I just make sure it's dry before I take the band off. That's the point of the blow dryer. I've been seeing that on TikTok. I'm like, that has never happened to me. Like people spray down their lace and tie it down and then when they take it off, the whole wig come off. I have never had that happen. And I never heard of it happening to anybody else ever since wigs have been kind of popping. I never heard that happen to nobody until recently on TikTok. I'm just taking the end of this edge brush, the comb side, to unplaster the hair from my face and the lace. All right, so now I'm gonna cut the lace into a few sections and we're gonna start cutting her off. All right, so now I'm just gonna clean the area with alcohol, get off any excess product, get off this eyeliner where we mapped out the hairline, apply a little bit of makeup, and just touch up the hairstyle a little bit. Probably just go over it with the hot comb and put some concealer in the part. And that's really it. So I'm just gonna let y'all watch me do all of that. It's pretty self-explanatory, nothing too crazy. So yeah. Actually, I'm gonna do one more spray down on the lace just for extra melt. I'm not gonna spray it directly on the lace. I'm gonna just spray it on this little stick and then just kind of place it along the edges. All right, now I'm gonna do everything else that I said. Just a quick little hot comb, some concealer in the part, and that's it. This wig is really already styled for you, so you don't have to do too much. Don't we love that? Take a little bit of this darkest brown spray, black spray, whatever you wanna call it, to define the part a little bit more. I really just need this area right here. Uh -huh. And this is the Kiss Colors and Care Temporary Hair Color Spray, again, in the darkest brown Temptation Spray. And then I'm just gonna go over where I just sprayed the black spray with some more even spray just to seal in the black spray. All right, let's take the band off. All right, so last step, I'm just gonna take my brush, a little tangle teaser, and just brush the hair out.
so this not my hair. so bad y'all this is so good like i was so excited about this wig i already knew it was a good wig anyway because like i said i had installed it on my cousin already but this just eats so bad like this eats so bad for 50 dollars yeah you don't even have to style it much like you don't have to do any of the curls all you gotta do is do a little hot comb a little one two Ugh. yeah if you don't get any other wig i have ever recommended out of all of my amazon wig reviews and it's a lot of them get this one this is by far my favorite top tier this is synthetic y'all and it looks so good like i look so put together this is the type of stuff i'll be talking about when when i say you do not have to break the bank to do a little maintenance routine or you know get yourself all done up and get your hair done 50 dollars, and i promise you you can do it yourself just don't walk around with it all lumpy and humped up get you a hot comb get you a little wax stick you really could wear it glueless but if you want to glue it down of course get all the other products that i used you really can even just spray it down with the even spray and be done with it like ugh, link in my amazon storefront like what for real if y'all don't listen to nothing else i ever say about another wig ever again especially synthetic listen when i say this is the one like who's gonna tell me this is not my hair who's gonna tell me that i really don't even feel like i need to do my makeup but i close out the video like i feel like it just looks so good i feel like i look good just as is not that i ever felt like i didn't look good before but i'm gonna do my makeup anyway because i really want to do my makeup i haven't done my makeup in so long i know i said that really fast and probably ran all my words together but i'm you know I'm sorry. I'm definitely gonna do my makeup because I just, if it's eating like this, just wait till I get dressed up. I might save that for tomorrow though. Cause I'm gonna do my makeup before I go to the fair. Just so I don't do my makeup tonight for no reason. I could do it tomorrow before I go to the fair. I will be sleeping in it. So I'll let y'all know how it holds up overnight. It was a little tangly even just now when I brushed it. It's synthetic. What do you expect? All hair tangles anyway, but you know, synthetic, you can expect a little bit more. If you walk around looking like this, I don't care nothing about that. <laughs> I don't. So yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I am back and my makeup is all done and I'm all cute and everything. I'm going to go to the fair, actually. I'm going to give y'all a quick review on the unit because there's really not much to say. The unit is speaking for itself. But my number one, she is big head friendly. The lace ear to ear is cutting it very close as far as 13 inches ear to ear. It came perfectly on each side. I didn't even have to part out any hair to like cut off. It fit perfectly. I haven't had much trouble with shedding. The plucking went by really easy. It wasn't hard to pluck. Knots weren't stubborn. The lace, incredible. Yeah, slight tangling, nothing too crazy. Just like expected type of tangling, especially with synthetic wigs. It's very light tangling, nothing that's not manageable. I did sleep in this and I didn't have much tangles brushing it out when I woke up. And after I finished getting ready, y'all see the curls. The curls are still holding, very full. It's not thin at all. It's not much else to say about it. I mean, it's nothing to say. Like I said, it speaks for itself. I give this wig a 10 out of 10 all around. 10s across the board. I'm gonna get it in other colors. Like, it's just so cute. You don't have to do anything. Like, it's already styled for you. Just brush out the curls and you're good to go. So yeah, I give this a 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend. Please buy this, especially if you're, you know, a baddie on a budget, don't like to break the bank to look cute. This is a unit for you and really easy to wear and install. So yeah, the link to this unit will be in my Amazon storefront, which is linked below. It'll probably be linked under hair or wigs or something like that. That'll be the tab that is under on my storefront. But yeah, that's really it y'all. That's all I got to say. Please buy it. Definitely gonna be doing some more of these cheap Amazon wigs, especially these sensational wigs because somebody started recommending those to me to start reviewing these because I don't think I've ever done a sensational wig before. I'm definitely gonna be doing more because they snapped first go around so yeah that is it for this video you guys hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see y'all in the next one bye